angry guy here. Wow, guys. So Bitcoin has become the official currency of Venezuela. Uh, yeah. Like when you see this happening. Thanks to these patrons, and of course, special thanks to these patrons. Sharky, Mickey Turner, GNU, Ling Neurons, Cretonomy Royal, 2.5, B Bax, Brian A. Pierre Tremartel, David Herrera, Dead Lust, F8 Crusader, Gabriel Prince, Goo Monster, Hansky, Iceberg88, John Charles Clark Jr., Joshua Flores, Levi Abram, Mocking Moniker, Nature Monk, Raymond Zuniga, Red Bill, Blue Maze, St. Everest, CPO Americana, Scott Venman, Thomas Danielle, Timothy Bruce Leoza, David Strong, Tim Myers, Daniel D. Utley, and Sam Raven. You guys are amazing, and I want to thank you for your continued support. So, Bitcoin has now become the official currency of Venezuela. I am not joking with you. I am absolutely serious. So, what we are witnessing is basically the final days of the uh, former president, Maduro, who's been ousted, and he's now struggling to hold on to power. But the main story, the major story here, is actually about the new president. The new president of Venezuela is actually a pro-Bitcoin guy. All right, so he's pro-Bitcoin, but it goes much further than that. In Venezuela right now, okay, Bitcoin adoption crucible, Venezuela could end up using its own sanction fund. So here's where things get into Bitcoin adoption crucible, Venezuela. So Bitcoin is the official currency in Venezuela right now. It is. It is the official currency that everyone is using. They are not using fiat currency is essentially, you know, their hyperinflated fiat currency is a joke. And the the uh, the the petrol that that uh, that uh, Maduro tried to create, which is based on around cryptocurrency, is essentially dead now. And here's how Venezuelans are operating. This is uh, this is pretty insane. Okay, so just just to, so this is the uh, this is the new president of Venezuela. Okay, third and he's 35 years old. And it's it's really unbelievable. Venezuelans vote with their Bitcoin wallets. OK, the Venezuelans are vote making votes with their Bitcoin wallets right now. That's how they're deciding what they want to happen in the country by make financing things using Bitcoin. So fiat currency is essentially dead in the country and everyone is using Bitcoin right now to not only buy food, but to fund government intervention, to fund rebellions, everything. It's, it's, it's unbelievable right now. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, Guiado, a known Bitcoin advocate, is already recognized as the Venezuelan head of state by various Western countries, including the US. And again, a known Bitcoin advocate. Right now, okay. This is this is where things are pretty pretty crazy. As Bitcoinist reported, Venezuela's persisting economic crisis has compounded desperation among ordinary citizens. The country's fiat currency, a rebranded sovereign Bolivar, Maduro introduced last year, suffers from inflation that is suggested to reach eight million percent in 2019. Guys, their fiat currency is suggested to reach eight million percent. 8 billion percent, okay, inflation in just 2019. Predictably, Venezuelans have turned to Bitcoin in mass to circumvent capital controls and expose and exposure to capital erosion. Transactions more and more Bolivar, transacting more and more Bolivars through decentralized platforms each week, okay? Each week, this is insane, guys. For the seven days ending April 27, that number hit almost 36 billion VES, a sign of the extent of the inflation of volume, in fact, dropped lower in Bitcoin terms. Okay, so 
Everyone is using Bitcoin right now. Maduro has attempted to divert attention away from uncontrollable decentralized currencies instead of appealing to foreign investors, instead of appealing to foreign investors to buy state issued Petro, a crypto token facing sanctions of its own. OK, guys. So, yeah, the government has already taken a hardline stance regarding citizens obligations to shore up Petro and forcing Petro only payments for some government services such as a new passport. So they're trying to push their own crypto, but it doesn't matter. Bitcoin is the official cryptocurrency in the country right now. That's what everyone's using. And the actual president of the country that was elected and is recognized by, as the president by up to by uh, 50 states, including the US, is a known Bitcoin advocate. Okay, so they're, if you guys know what's happening, they've been fighting, there's a huge fight's happening over there right now. And they're trying hard to oust Maduro. And it's, it's seemingly looking each and every single day as though you know his uh his time is very very limited his time is very very limited okay i mean again here we have this is uh this is another article just from uh, this is from april 30th venezuela transacts transacts record number of btc trades as petro fails to gain support Yet again, I, it is the official currency of Venezuela right now, and you guys, as more and more people are using it to buy food, to just, just to, just to buy everything, this is how it's working now. That Venezuela is a, it just shows you that this is the future of money. Okay, it was a, it's a per, I mean, again, Venezuela Bitcoin trading. This is another one. Venezuela, Venezuela. This is from April 29th. Venezuela Bitcoin trading record underscores fiat currency hyperinflation. Guys, this is, I told you, it's going, it's getting crazy. It is getting absolutely crazy right now. Bitcoin has completely taken over in the country. That is the official currency that they are using right now for every purpose within the country. So again, you should be stocking up on cryptocurrency as much as possible because as the rest of the world is entering into a depression, into a social, into an economic collapse, Everyone's going to be putting their money into cryptocurrency, as we talked about. Doctors, young millennial doctors, uh, students are buying up cryptocurrency rapidly so that they can um, put their money, you know, somewhere where the government cannot seize it because uh, they cannot pay their student loans. They'll never be able to pay them off. And I, as I've said, you know, this is just a, this is the new step. You know, you put your money in cryptocurrency. And you can actually walk out of the country because, for example, think about this. If you try to walk out of the country with money, they'll seize it. All right. They'll seize it. You can't easily get out of the country with a bunch of with forty thousand dollars. But you put your money in Bitcoin. You can walk out of the country with forty thousand dollars stored in your head via a private key. OK. And then and then as soon as you get to your, your destination, you can start withdrawing money. Or, for example, if you have a Coinbase account, you know, you you can link that to a debit card uh, in the UK right now, at least. And you can withdraw money that way. Again, there's a number of different ways. There's still there are different Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin cards out there that you can utilize. This is this is truly the future right now. OK, but everyone's sleeping and sitting on their hands, as I said. This is not the time to be second guessing yourself because when cryptocurrency skyrockets, every crap coin is going to be worth money. All right. Like I said, every crap coin is going to be worth money. And you can make the decision if you want to be that guy, if you want to be the person who is left out. Don't be, you know, because when everyone's, because I said, when everyone is selling, that's when you should be buying. When everyone's buying, that's when you should be selling. And, you know, when things hit the fan, uh, you know, you're going to be buying my crap coins for hyperinflated prices. And it's 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 unfortunate, but that's just how it is. You know, like I said, everyone who invested in the coins that I told them to invest in months ago have made money, made tons of money. Sharky is getting Sharky's leaving trucking right now. I mean, this is not a joke. OK, I mean, uh, right now you can head over to CryptoMoney.Academy because you don't want to try to use online. You don't want to use like Google to learn how to do crypto because there's a big learning curve. Go over there and you can find the courses we have available for you right now. We have introduction to day trading. We have introduction to cryptocurrency, introduction to day trading, cryptocurrency for a living. That is only, that course is only, that course is only, is $179.99. It's going to be going up at the end of the month uh, on June 1st, actually. 
And again, here, I mean, here we have these courses. You have how to choose slash invest in all coins that will increase by 10 times to 100 times. And you're going to learn what to do before investing in altcoins, how to find altcoins that are going to increase 10 to 100 times in value, the value on altcoins to determine if they will increase 10 to 100 times in value, how to spot scam coins and use them to your own advantage to make uh, 10 times to 1,000 times profit, how to minimize your risk when investing in altcoins to make profit, and how to become an altcoin millionaire. This is one of the ways that I've been supplementing my income. You can also take the introductory deductions to cryptocurrency course. You can review the full curriculum here, but essentially you're going to be learning, you understand how cryptocurrency works, how to purchase and use cryptocurrency, how to store cryptocurrency, different kinds of currency. The full, you're going to, I mean, it's a full breakdown, distributed ledger, how it's stored, all of that, introduction to dApps, Internet of Things, and coin offerings. You get a full breakdown of that. And this course is, this is a very, very popular course. It's been purchased so many times already. Let me see. I mean, it is, again, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, nobody is going to do the work for you. You know, if you want to purchase crypto, you're going to need to know how to uh, how to get Bitcoin, because that's how you purchase crypto. You have to have Bitcoin, got to use Bitcoin. And a lot of people don't know how to do it, so they end up spending more than they really should. We've got this course for $129 for you. And basically, you're going to know the best places to purchase Bitcoin, both online and locally. Purchase Bitcoin using both usual methods and anonymous methods. Understand basic anonymous Bitcoin purchasing methods. Understand advanced anonymous Bitcoin purchase methods. And you'll learn a simple method to purchase Bitcoin that is no that is unknown to most investors. And also, of course, you can take the introduction to day trading cryptocurrency course. You're going to look at the full curriculum here. It's a very extensive course. And uh, basically, objectives of this course is you're going to understand the different kinds of traders and day trades. You're going to understand day trading strategies. You're going to utilize day, tra day trading charts and software to make accurate and precise trades. You're going to develop your own trading plan and you're going to understand the best strategy for taking profit without incurring a loss. So again, this is CryptoMoney.Academy. Links in the description of the video. Nobody's going to do the work for you, okay? No one's going to do the work for you. You have to get out there. You have to do it yourself. Don't wait until the market starts booming and then all of a sudden, oh, I want to start getting into crypto. Because look at what's happening in Venezuela right now, all right? Crypto is the official crypto, is the current official currency. It has replaced Cryptocurrency has replaced fiat in Venezuela. So, I mean, you can sit on your hands or you can start investing now. Because like I said, in, in the net, in, when the global, when, as the economic uh, depression is hitting right now, economic collapse is, hit, collapse is hitting right now, everyone is using cryptocurrency as a safe haven to store their funds. Don't forget, Elizabeth Warren is proposing that we put a tax, America puts a tax on every, on the saving accounts of, 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 of the wealthy right now. You've got to be kidding me. Of, it'll only be on the rich, and that'll basically pay, help pay off the student loan debt for $1 trillion in student loan debt. Yeah. And of course, that's how the income tax started. So they're going to start taxing every savings account in the United States. So if you save money, all the money that you've been working hard to save, they want to put an annual an annual tax on saving account savings accounts this is insane hence why everyone is going to put their money in cryptocurrency anyway guys like i said no one can do it for you links to our uh, if you want to take a course it's cryptomoney.academy love god get money and cheers